Hey guys, in this video, you'll learn how to build a fully functional online store with Bootstrap Studio. The store will consist of a product list, product pages, and a shopping cart. Customer purchases will be deposited directly into your PayPal or Stripe account with zero fees. We'll begin with a blank design. In the settings, change the theme to Lux. This will give our store a more classy look. In the e-commerce section, click the Connect button. This will load the Reflow website, which is Bootstrap Studio's sister service for managing online stores. Click to confirm that you wish to connect the app with your Reflow account. Select your store here and save the dialog. Now we can start laying down components, starting with the nav bar. Drop it in your page and remove the second and third links. Then insert a button and offset it to the right. Set it to a link and give it the URL of the shopping cart page, which we'll build in a minute. After this, change the button text. We'll also update the link to point to our product list. For the main content of the page, we'll drop a container. Inside it, we'll add a heading. I'll give it some bottom margin so there is space between it and the products. Now it's time for the stars of the show, the e-commerce components. They can be added to any website to turn it into a full online store. Drop a product list inside the container, select it, and switch it to the card layout. We want each of the products to lead to a page with more details. To do this, we will fill in the product link setting. This will point to the product page, which we will create in a bit. Notice the ID surrounded by braces at the end. This will be replaced with the ID of each product. Now duplicate the index page, rename it to product, and double click to switch to it. Here, we can remove the heading and the product list. Instead, we'll drop a product. One way this component is used is by choosing a specific product to display. We call this type of product fixed. But in this website, we want to switch the component to dynamic so that it decides which product to display based on an ID in the URL. You'll see how this works when we publish the website online. We can proceed with the cart page. Just duplicate and rename. Remove the product and drop a shopping cart in its place. The only configuration that's needed are the URLs of the success and cancel pages where the customer will be redirected to after purchasing. Duplicate and rename the index page to success. Here, we will leave only the heading and add a paragraph. In a real website, this paragraph should inform the customer what the next steps are but we'll just generate placeholder text with the command palette. Duplicate the page to make the cancellation one. The customer will see this page whenever a payment is unsuccessful for any reason. With this, our online store is ready. To publish the website online, 
we will use Bootstrap Studio's hosting platform. Click the Publish button and create a new website. After this, select it here and click Publish. Our store is now online. Clicking the items opens the product page with the unique product ID in the URL. Each product displays an image gallery with a light box. Let's try adding the product to our cart. Clicking the See Cart button brings us to the shopping cart, which is ready to take customer orders via PayPal and Stripe. Thank you for watching. We would love to see what you build with the new e commerce components. What lessons would you like to see next? Leave a comment down below.